Welcome back. So, continue. The demigod Krotos, one of the sniveling cowards who had banished the ultimate evil, had just marched his alliance army out of the swamplands to fight the snake-like Nagas. The ultimate evil wanted to teach him the full futility of war by ensuring his untimely passing. Besides, the Nagas could prove to be valuable allies. Okay. So, play. So what we know about Dungeons 2 is that we need to uh, protect our home base and have outside missions going at the same time. And having our guys come back to heal every now and then. And not just rush into it to kill the boss because get rid of everything else around him and then kill the boss because you might die. King Robert was defeated, but there were more heroes whose life the ultimately vindictive evil was after. Uh -huh. Here in the Swamplands, the demigod Krotos was just leading the Alliance's troops against feral Naga clans. They had retreated here after the collapse of the Dark Army. It would seem sensible to first strike an alliance with these Nagas before the impatient evil squared up against Krotos. Okay, so first things first is we do this. The gold greedy evil built the first underground treasury, thus laying the foundations for insane amounts of hoarded treasure. Okay. So I think first things first is we we do this. We we swarm ourselves with guys so we can clear out things faster. and that's going to be our goblins. Really wish we could upgrade that. The first brewery was built underground. Later, orcs and goblins would get obscenely drunk there and then meander through the dungeons, slurring their words and singing lewd songs. Three fifty. Surface. 
This is concerning. Hopefully no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. The Alliance had discovered the presence of the ultimate evil. This had nothing to do with a tip-off from a certain narrator who wanted to increase the tension. It was pure coincidence. The good people responded, as you might expect, with a direct attack on the dungeon. Well, I want to know what the book he got. Okay, we need to get rid of one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, goddammit. There are enemies in your dungeon. Day. The exploration keen evil sent its troops to the surface ah. for the first time. The swamp lands spread out before them. The next step was to either find the Nagas and recruit them, or be massacred by the army of the Alliance. It was a difficult decision. Okay, so this becomes a treasury. Becomes a target thing, then production tinker. A tinkerer's cave had been built. Soon, traps and doors in the dungeon would make any would be hero's life more tricky. Evil's hardworking goblins had made plans for a new room, a guard room. There, creatures could patrol and keep a lookout for heroes. Immediately, the ultimate evil got down to having this room researched. Can't One hundred years later, the dungeon of outdated evil was discovered by other baddies. Following careful investigation, they came upon the single reason why this dungeon had failed. There was no guard room. Maybe you should work towards preventing this future becoming yeah. reality. <laughs> okay. That. Now we can do that. Okay, now there are enemies in your dungeon. Yep.
this is gonna cost me 150. We need to get a hospital up and running. Um, if I do that, that could turn into. I uh, should probably do that. Let me do another one here. Okay, so let's just finish off that room. Hospital first, then everything else. Money. All right. The fingers of a goblin devoted to the unspeakably evil impatiently tapped on the workbench. He was still awaiting orders to begin researching the garden. Yep. Of course, he did Shut it behind up. the lame evil's back, as after all, he didn't want the hand of terror to portrait him in a most unpleasant way. Um. We dig out this area, turn that into the actual um, thing we need. Do we just research the guard room then? Might as well. It's gonna earn the money anyway. It's payday. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Researched and ready for construction. Creatures that were thrown there by the hand of terror would keep watch and be especially vigilant for intruders. They were able to alert other creatures near the guard room and summon them for reinforcement as well. No, we don't want the guard. We don't want the guard room there. We'll have it here. That's the smarter option. Then we have the traps down below. Enemies have entered the dungeon.
Okay, this one's gonna be a while. So we want to fill here, here, here. Search that room, please. Here we build the guard room. Then we grab here in the guard room. Hospital is complete. A hospital has been built. From now on, wounded monsters could be cured there. Okay. And we need a bed just at least, 250, alright. And then our people can heal. <laughs> Mr. Productive to be on that. Okay. Where's our injured orcs? Day. God damn it. You sleep. It's going to be coming time for the orcs to go out and explore the swamp land. Oh god. Enemies have entered the dungeon. I want, uh, maybe here, I want 
one, two, three in there. I want you to research doors. Now we explore. Now we're actually doing stuff. Army of the ultimate evil could view the temple from the top of the hill, and it did indeed not look good for the Nagas. The nauseatingly good hero Krotos personally led the alliance into battle and was forcing the snake creatures to retreat. Only his death would deliver okay. the temple back into the hands of evil. Well, that could be arranged. The troops of the ultimate evil stumbled upon a patrol of the alliance that had caught some Nagas. Of course, they immediately set about wiping out the much-hated heroes. Oh, and by the way, you could, of course, also set those Nagas free. Yeah. The last fighter in the patrol was defeated. Creatures of the Horde cheered. Oh, yes, and set the Naga free as well. They were overjoyed to join the ultimate evil. The eager for new units evil sent his creatures further towards where it expected the Naga camp to be. The Nagas kept up their fight to free their unholy temple from the Alliance. If the ultimate evil was to help them win it back, then their support would be guaranteed. Since that fitted perfectly with the planned revenge on Krotos, it was the ideal solution. The approaching horde startled a few animals. Dinner. Okay, so they're sending some more. I think we'll be fine at base for now. Uh, we go over here. I want to build a th thrasher. That's the one that we want to get. defeated the bears with ease and stocked up on bear meat. However, as bear meat is not actually a resource in the game, this was utterly irrelevant. Okay. The enemies have entered the dungeon. <sighs> Payday. What's the pay like? Five hundred? Okay, that we can deal with. We're gonna have to kill them off eventually, but I think we should head south. 
next. I don't know. Oh, we'll head over to the village. The Naga village, is, I guess. Done. Okay. They're all drinking. Motivating others. Okay. These take longer than I thought, but that's fine. I'm going to head down this way to try and assault this. The creatures of a suspiciously suicidal evil made their way towards a treacherous ambush. At the last minute, however, apologies, I thought that the Horde would take a different path because there is an ambush awaiting them here. But obviously, that doesn't seem to be bothering someone at all. <laughs> well, I thought I could do that. But now we have regenerators. So we pop back over here. Traps are set up. Alright. Let's build some more beds. A small group of Alliance troops had gathered here. The presence of the Nagas ensured that the all-seeing evil could see even the cloaked units. Okay. Oh, we lost one. Enemies in your dungeon. At last, the Horde reached the Naga's camp. They were not able to offer the ultimate evil much help. However, they spoke of an artifact that was hidden deep down in the mountains. It would make defeating the Alliance a piece of cake. The Nagas opened a portal to the artifact using their ancient magic. Okay. The insidious evil debated briefly whether it was worth the risk. Finally, however, it decided it was only a question of its creatures' lives, and of course, the ultimate evil didn't give a toss about them. Can we do something about him? The Horde had passed through the Naga portal and found themselves in an old altar chamber. 
in the center of which lay a very ancient looking object. This had to be the artifact. Some creatures appeared to be guarding it. Okay. Saving. Oh god, it's been 30 minutes. A teensy weensy hint. These artifact guards are preventing you from continuing. Get rid of them. I am. Artifact guards were eliminated, the artifact began to glow. It almost seemed to be waiting to be picked up. It looked as if the artifact would fit perfectly into the mysterious altar base that lay deep within the dungeon of the ultimate evil. Maybe it would be a good idea to place it there. The artifact was currently lifeless. It needed some magic. The expanding evil's creature's next task was to expose some mana crystals. This mana okay. would be necessary to charge the artifact up. When in New York. Let's charge it up. The mana crystals had finally been dug up. Magic crackled in the air. Oh no, wait, that's just a pot horn I need. But a mana crystal on its own was really of no value to the ultimate evil. It would take a crystal chamber to make this valuable asset usable. A room was quickly installed under the crystal. The crystal chamber shone with the brilliance of a freshly painted room. Okay. To exploit this effectively, the success enabling evil was now able to recruit Nagas. At this exact moment, the clan conveniently placed some of these snake-like beings at its disposal. There are enemies in your dungeon. He died? Apparently, it had not escaped the notice of the Alliance's magicians that something disturbing was going on in the underground. So they decided to mount powerful attacks on the dungeon. But the ultimate evil had been warned. That's what I'm doing right now, by the way, and created such a formidable defense that it would have brought tears to the eyes of any tower defense player. This is where I suspect it's going. Cry for help from a few Nagas trapped in a very remote area reached the ultimate evil while it was defending the dungeon. Maybe they could be saved by using a spell which was ready to be unlocked in the crystal chamber. 
Creatures of the unstoppable evil continued work on filling the artifact with magic. When am I supposed to learn panic retreat spell? Whoops. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. The wave by wave tactics of the Alliance had so far proven unsuccessful. So, a strategic genius had decided to open up a second entrance to the underground in order to send, well, wave after wave of units into the dungeon. There are enemies in your dungeon. Slowly, but surely, the artifact filled itself up with magic. It's payday. There are enemies in your dungeon. The ultimate evil had learned a spell. This would enable the Nagas to be rescued. It immediately set about doing so. The spell ensured the Nagas safe passage into the dungeon of the ultimate evil. Excellent work. Is anyone unconscious? Enemies have entered the dungeon. Six seconds, okay. The artifact was almost bursting with energy. It was now producing mana independently and ready to stand by the ultimate evil's side in the battle for the temple. It also gave the ultimate evil access to a few more magic spells. Now it was time to take the temple and destroy Krotoj. The ultimate evil gathered all the troops together to attack in one devastating wave. Enemies have entered the dungeon. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh God. I 
to get there. Oh. Unspeakable evil's creatures approached the Alliance's camp. An impressive dam towered into the sky in the background. However, this path led to absolutely nowhere. The ultimate evil or more precisely its creatures, destroyed the Alliance's camp with the greatest of ease. It considered having a luxury hotel for stressed dungeon managers built there. Okay, so we're getting to the point where we actually can finish this. Woo! Uh, okay. Once that's finished, we will do it. Enemies have entered the dungeon. It's payday. Oh, God damn it. It was now time to fight Protoz. After a long pause, the unspeakable evil positioned its army and went into battle against him. Nah, screw it. Yeah, because there's no other ways. Together with its Naga allies, the army of the ultimate evil stormed the Naga temple. The battle began. Here we go. Stop resurrecting them. Yay! <laughs> it wouldn't be long before Krotos was defeated. <laughs> Just a few more blows and he would fall. Hey, wait! What do you think you're doing? Come back, you coward! <clears throat> I mean, 
Seeing that defeat was inevitable, Kratos opted for a strategic retreat, leaving the temple in the ultimate evil's power. The gathered evilness then burst the nearby dam, and the Alliance's camp disappeared under waves of water with a very satisfactory gurgling sound. Despite the soggy end to the Alliance, the ultimate evil was livid. It had just been robbed of a delicious revenge. But, if I may be so bold, that was yet to come. I saw it in the script. Alright. Well, that one took a lot longer than I thought it would. But, you know, these things happen. Strategy-based things and all that. And me not doing the objectives and more hoarding. I, I, I think the slow approach works better in some instances. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.